Black ginger has been used in Thailand for over a thousand years and has a reputation of helping improve everything from diabetes to impotence, but can black ginger improve athletic performance? Well, we have this investigation with a very bold title, Black Ginger Extract Increases Physical Fitness Performance and Muscular Endurance by Improving Inflammation and Energy Metabolism, which sounds great until we realize that it's a mouse study. There's also evidence, again, from laboratory animal experiments that black ginger ramps up the production of mitochondria, better known as the powerhouses of the cells. So all this is great if you're a mouse who exercises, but what about people? Can black ginger improve exercise in people? So we have this investigation of 45 older folks over the age of 60 who were given either 25 milligrams or 90 milligrams of black ginger or placebo each day for eight weeks. The researchers tested them before and after with a series of four fitness tests. There's a 30 second chair stand test, a hand grip strength test, a six minute walking test, and a tandem stance test to measure their balance. The researchers also look at their blood to see how their antioxidant defenses are doing, and they report that those taking 25 milligrams of black ginger showed significant improvements in superoxide dismutase, a powerful antioxidant enzyme. And while that's good, those taking 90 milligrams of black ginger performed even better, raising not only superoxide dismutase, but also catalase and glutathione peroxidase. These antioxidant enzyme increases also corresponded with a decline in free radical damage as well. And as for muscle strength, those taking the black ginger supplement also performed better on the 30 second chair stand test and the six minute walking test, indicating that the muscles in their lower body had improved strength and muscle endurance. I will point out, however, that black ginger did not improve the balance of these older folks. But overall, a pretty interesting investigation. But what about younger folks who take black ginger? So we have this investigation of 60 soccer players who were given either a placebo or 180 milligrams of black ginger each day for three months. The athletes were put through a series of fitness tests before and after the study, and it was reported that black ginger improved the grip strength of both the right hand and left hands, and this was a significant increase after four to eight weeks of use. And while that is nice that it happened, more important to soccer performance, however, is that black ginger did not improve their aerobic ability or their ability to sprint. Likewise, there was no improvement in leg strength or back strength either. So this investigation is a bit of a mixed bag, but it does appear to corroborate this other investigation showing that black ginger, or as they're calling it here, Thai ginseng, did not improve either sprinting performance or exercise endurance performance either. I will point out as an aside that they're calling it Thai ginseng in this study. However, ginseng and black ginger are different. And in case you're wondering, in this investigation, they used quite a lot of black ginger, over 1300 milligrams a day, which is equal to roughly half a teaspoon. We also have this investigation of 194 students ages 15 to 18 years of age who were given either a placebo or 380 milligrams of black ginger each day, again, for three months. Compared to those who took a placebo, those taking black ginger also saw improved grip strength in their right hand and their hamstring strength improved, their VO2 max improved, and these students were able to sprint better when they performed a 50 meter sprint test. There is also some evidence that black ginger may help muscles grow larger, technically called hypertrophy. That's of interest to any bodybuilder who's watching me right now, although I would point out that this has not yet been confirmed in people. What you're seeing here is the results of a mouse study. Now, as for side effects of black ginger, no adverse reactions have been noted at dosages up to 1,350 milligrams a day. So if you're going to experiment with black ginger, taking it at this amount or less may be wise. Although if you take any medications, do do your due diligence and speak to your doctor and pharmacist first. 
So based on these studies, I personally think it's too soon to tell if black ginger improves exercise athletic performance. So I would like to see a few other studies. And more than that, I would also like to see more investigations involving older folks too. However, what do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.